Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and in this video I'm going to talk about types of filtering available with Azure AD Connect to get the best results as per your uh, business requirements or as per your uh, environment if you don't want to sync any user object or a group object how you can achieve it and the types of filtering that are available this video will be a, a summary video on uh, how many types of filterings are available and then I will be covering each and every type of filtering specifically in a different lab video so if you talk about types of filterings uh, which are available the very first one is group based filtering while installing Azure AD Connect you guys might have observed that uh, while you end set up uh, setting up the Azure AD Connect you get an option to provide the DN of a group so that of that particular option is to apply filtering to that particular group and the same part or the same method can also be achieved with the help of sync rules that we can either decide that if user a belongs to group b then only sync to the cloud or if user a belongs to b then do not sync to the cloud so these are things which can be done at the attribute level as well but group based is something that is recommended uh, you know for the pilot deployment or for your test environment if you're testing something then you can go ahead and do a group based filtering but for really large enterprise environment in fact it, it will be recommended that if you go ahead with attribute level filtering the next one is domain based filtering let's say you have a domain a.com and it has two child domains as well which is a1.com and a2.com and you don't, you don't want to sync any user object from a2.com what you can do is from the console itself you can simply uncheck that domain and all the user objects from that particular domain will not be synced to the cloud the next one is ou based this is a common uh, filtering uh, which has been used by most of the enterprises and uh, what it, what it does that if you don't want to sync any any number of users or any sort of object what you can do is you can move them to a respective OU which you can uncheck and then those objects will not be synced to the cloud but the question here is that it, it is really not possible to at times to change the location of an object because there are already a number of uh, GPOs being binded to the respective OUs which is actually creating a user experience. This is just an example of uh, one of the situations wherein you might need to switch to attribute level filtering from OU filtering. So group based is again uh, but the very first one was just to uh, initiate or test something moving on to the next one which is domain based while you will log in or while you will open azure ad connect just right click on your local ad connector and then click on properties click on configure directory partition and then you can see here the domain is getting listed in my case it is only one domain so I'm not getting multiple options but if you have multiple domains you can simply uncheck a domain from here and that domain will not be sent to the cloud the next one is OU filtering wherein this uh, this feature would prevent the objects to be to be uh, created in local AD connector space so if you have unchecked any OU the user object that belongs to that particular OU will not even be projected in your local AD connector space so you have to select the respective domain for which you want to implement the OU filtering and then click on containers this is what something you will get after you provide your domain admin credentials or account which has the privileges to read all the partitions and from here you can uncheck or select the OUs which you want to sync. The next one, and I, I should say the best method to apply filtering is the attribute level filtering. So you have to click on start and then you have to navigate to synchronization rule editor. And the moment you'll click on this, this is the first window that you will see, wherein you can select the direction of uh, the rules, whether it is inbound or outbound rules. 
and then you can also select the metaverse object types so this all these options getting listed here they are basically to narrow down the list of the rules which are associated to a particular object and from this console itself you create new rules i will be covering this in, a, in another video this is just a brief overview how you can get get to this point wherein you can check all the details and again this is something which is applied at attribute level so you can choose one attribute with one specific value or I, I should say you can add multiple values with multiple attributes permutation and combination different kind of uh, situation you can attach to one single sync rule and then you can get the desired results so uh, this was basically about what kind of features are available in terms of filtering couple of recommendations from uh, my side is that make sure that when you are using filtering you do have a test environment or you can go ahead and keep the server in the staging mode so, so that any of the changes should not be pushed to the cloud or what you also can do is you can disable the sync that runs in every 30 minutes or you can increase that sync time once uh, you have done with all of the configuration and you think that everything is in place or just by analyzing either the metaverse or uh, azure ready connector space you think that the respective or the required uh, changes are getting synced to the cloud i would suggest you to go and verify with the help of cs analyzer i'll be showing this as well how to use this particular sort of script or a tool or a patch which is already available with Azure AD Connect and also make sure or verify what is the deletion threshold for your tenant so this deletion threshold is actually a value that let's say you have unchecked an OU then that has more than 500 objects the moment the count will reach to 501 you will see a export error on the Azure AD connector that means this feature detects by default that there is something which has been changed and which is resulting a deletion of many objects which might not be required so the default value is 500 you can either increase or decrease it as well depending upon your requirements so uh, the best takeaway from this uh, video is to make sure you use cs analyzer if you're not sure about the required results and do take care of prevent deletion threshold option as well so this was all about the features that are available and how you can use them i'll be covering each and every uh, feature in the next videos that i'll be sharing with the same playlist do go through with all those videos and if you have any questions please feel free to reach me or you can simply mail us at learnconceptswork at gmail.com thank you so much guys thanks for your time have a great day bye